Hello, Didier Stevens here, senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. In my last diary entry I talk about the new JSON option in the latest version of curl. So let's take a look. Here I have my simple listener uh, Python script. It's a kind of Python uh, honeypot. I configure it to listen on port 8080 and it will always send a reply HTTP 200 status OK with small bit of uh, JSON. I'm starting this. And now over here I'm going to use the new curl version. And this is the Windows version for curl that I downloaded 7.82.0. And now I can do something like option JSON and here I'm going to send JSON data. So open the curly brace and then I need again a double quote, but that's for the JSON. So I need to escape that from uh, the Windows shell, uh, cmd.exe here. And then I'm saying ISC. And close this value one close the curly brace here and then double quotes to terminate the argument and then localhost port 8080 okay and so that's what we get back that's because i configured this here but as you can see here now we we have a post that's because of the JSON and here we have content type application JSON and accept application JSON and this is the JSON that we sent so that's what the JSON option does it's very similar to data option that will also do a post see the same post here same data is post but then here the headers uh, the content type header and the accept here is, is different, that's a standard than the default value. So that's something you would have to change yourself with an option for the header. But that's actually what JSON option does here. It does this automatically for you. Now, JSON here, that option, it will not validate the syntax or anything. So if I remove the curly brace here at the end, see this will still be posted so it's not interpreted that might come later um, in, in curl that more features are added for JSON but up till now it, this is uh, how it works and so I discovered this because about uh, a month ago one uh, of our handlers shared this uh, blog post that announced uh, the JSON option and in here, I found a tool that I have never heard of before, Yo. Okay. So Yo is actually a tool to create a JSON easily from the command line. Because here I have to escape the double quotes here. So in, it's a bit awkward to do in this shell. Now if I type Yo, and that's the command, and I say I see equals one, just that, it will generate for me the proper JSON for that. And you can do other things like, um, let's say, sans equals edu, and then you get this. And as you can see in its de default configuration, it will try to recognize the values that you pass. So one here that has the format of an integer, so it is interpreted as an integer, while this here is a string can have different options like option A to make this an array, a list instead of a dictionary. And of course, once you have this tool, you, you can pipe this into curl. So let's take this here. And I'm going to pipe this into curl, JSON. 
and I'm not going to type the data itself here as an argument. It will come from standard in, so from a file. And I have to use add to say that it comes from a file, and then the dash to say that it's standard in. So now the JSON uh, expression will be taken from uh, standard in, and then we also send that to localhost here, my simple listener. And then here you can see you have uh, this uh, result.